Hey there guys and welcome back to Poke Idol Festival, a sacred gold idol lock. We are all healed up after the last gym battle and uh, slightly over leveled. <laughs> yeah, I think we might have over leveled just a little bit for that gym. We we're a little over cautious considering how badly we got wrecked in the first gym. Uh, but at least we suffered no deaths, that's the important part. Um, I can't promise I won't try the same tactic for the third gym because I'm sure, I'm sure Dre has made sure that Whitney's mill tank is still on the level of threatening that she has always been, just in a very Dreana way. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Um, for now, I think our next big challenge is the rival battle, and we definitely don't need to be level 28 for that. So I think we are going to switch over to the misfits and see how they handle our, our pal, our little pal Riot, down at the exit of the town here. Um, Oh, I should probably also say, uh, I did some exploring around the town, um, and I found a couple TMs, one of which... Well, I can't remember which ones I didn't already have out of these, if, uh, if any. Um, but one thing I did find was the TM for Thief, which I figured, given the low power of knockoff in this generation, would be a much better option than knockoff, uh, as far as a dark move went. So I think we'll be good for that, uh, to keep on pizzazz, and, uh... Yeah, um, let's move forward, I guess. There's not really much else to say other than that I have looked ahead uh, to another person's playthrough of this game and done some research on what uh, what Riot's team is like. So I think I think I, we should be good type-wise. I've, I've thought about this. We should be good using the misfits against him, even though Ariel and uh, Pizzazz still are mainly like multi-hit move users. Um, so we should be good. Level 19 Murkrow. I don't think we'll be too threatened by it, especially because we have some ice and freeze its fragile little bird bones. Thankfully, the wing attack does not do too much. Ooh, see, right there, even that's just one hit with the Icicle Spear. Of course we only hit twice. Of course we only hit twice, because that's just the way this game works. Oh, he's not gonna use a potion, at least. That's good. And no crits. No crits. Also good. Alrighty. Nicely done, Ariel. That was a solid debut. Well done. Magnifique. Ghastly. I guess now it's time to put that thief to work, how about? Let's get pizzazz out on the stage. Appearing with a flash of intensity. And... and pizzazz. <laughs> pizzazz, the, the adjective. Um, so let's see how much this thief does. I'm curious. Not bad, not bad, considering that she doesn't get stabbed with that yet. Mean look. I'm not planning on leaving for you, so that's good. Let's just throw another thief down there. We'll steal away your soul! Your pitiful little soul! Good job, Pizzazz. Kadabra. Um, are we good to stand in against the Kadabra? I just, hmm. We do have Thief, we do have Pin Missile, which, on average, uh, I'm told will do about as much damage as X Scissor, which is encouraging. Uh, but we are still part Poison. Should not be good if it has, like, Confusion or Psy Beam or something. I think we should be good. I think we should be good. I have, I have faith in you, Pizzazz. Let's see how much the Pin Missile does. Okay, confusion. Here's the test. Here's the test. Are we good or not? Oh, just barely good. Okay. Oh, and we missed. Okay, well, it's, uh, hmm. Hmm. Well then. Well then. Well then, well then. Who's got special defense? Nope, not you. Um, Freddy's got 43. Ariel's 24. Pizzazz is 35. Okay, so... Freddy would be able to take a confusion the best. Should we switch? What else would he use? She, she, what else would she use? Um, do we have any physical moves actually? Are these all special? Is Mud, Mud Bomb is also special? It is, okay. Hmm. I actually kind of still want to keep Pizzazz in. Because if we can hit with the Pin Missile or with the Thief, we could try the Thief as well. That would do more damage, probably. Um, let's try and heal up. Let's try and heal up and see if we can make it. If we can't, then we will switch. 
Let's just hope it doesn't go for like an endless loop of confusions. Maybe in that case we will switch if it does. Okay, maybe it will. Maybe it's going to. And I... I don't know. Maybe this is a bad idea. I don't want to waste a... I don't want to risk a crit, so maybe we should just switch. Alright, let's try it. I'm very quick to change my decisions in this game. I'm always second-guessing myself. <laughs> I am not confident in my, my, in my abilities, but I should be confident in Freddy's abilities because she took that very well. Uh, ooh, we could make it uh, go to sleep. Let's make you go to sleep. Oh, good, and you miss with the kinesis. I do not feel like having my accuracy lowered at the moment. Let's take a, an opportunity to potion that off, just because we can. Just to have something to do while we're waiting for it to fall asleep. Oh, disable. Okay, good. That's fine. I don't plan on using yawn again unless you wake up right the fuck away. Okay. Ah, uh, let's go for the mud bomb. Because it is the bomb, and uh, it does half. Okay, that's decent. And we lowered accuracy. That's fine. I'm good with this. Oh, of course, you did wake up. Oh, please don't miss. I know mud bomb has slightly lower accuracy than a regular move. Eh. Okay, good. We're good. Ah, oh, but it's not quite enough. Dang it. Alright, well, let's water pulse just to make sure we hit, then. Ha ha! Ha ha! The hacks! The hacks are in our favor! We have bedazzled him with mud. And thrown mud in his eyes, literally, so that he cannot see any flaws in our performance. As far as he knows, we just gave him the most stunning, talented performance he's ever seen. All right. Um. Oh, what was that? Uh, Quilava. We should be good to stay in with the with Freddy for the Quilava, obviously. Okay. Um. Uh, and I think we could probably stick with Water Pulse in that case. It's going to be more accurate than the Mud Bomb. Definitely good to withstand a Flame Wheel. <laughs> Douse your dreams. Oh, and confused you. Right. Water Pulse can confuse. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, this is no thing at all. And the smoke screen. You're you're just trying to reverse our tactics on it, on us, but it is not going to work. You're not going to work by copycatting, copycatting. You're not going to work by copycatting other people, other more successful people. Um, you have to put your own spin on it, or else it's just going to blow up in your face. And it just it just did. You hate the weak. Well, why don't you go and work on your choreography, buddy? Cause it stinks. Alrighty, cool. Um, well, let's answer a call from our groupie. How about Synergy? Howdy! It's Joey. How are you? Do you remember my super cool rattata? My rattata is different from the regular rattata. It got a place on Dancing with the Stars, and it, it's totally working its way through with it uh, with its unproduced script. Uh, and it's gonna totally be a, a successful Hollywood writer in addition to a successful dancer and idol. You know, it, like. Do you know what I'm saying? That's how you be a successful idol, right? Sure, kid. Sure, kid. Alrighty, so we're all healed up after that. And we can finally move on from Azalea Town. And I just want to make sure that there's nothing like been added to these guys. Okay. So now we can do our Ilex Forest catch and we can do the, uh, the, oh, and we can glitch out. Um, let's, uh, there's a time and place for glitching out. It's not now. Let's uh, go into the menu. There we go. We're back to normal. Nothing to worry about. Don't be alarmed. That happens with this uh, with this ROM. Okay. Um, so yes, we have to do the far-fetched thing in this forest as well. So let's uh, let's do both of those at once, I guess. Just look for our catch and uh, chase some birds. Oh, well, we should totally get uh, Katori out here. We can get our bird mom to <laughs> to. Uh, Help chase down the bird kids. There. <laughs> we can trust on- Oh! We can trust on Katori to find a Pokemon right out the gate as soon as she gets out. Ooh! Oh, oh it's a female! Right off the bat! Oh! It's, I knew! I knew bringing you out was a good idea, Katori, and totally not just a random bit of happenstance. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I don't want to kill this thing. I also don't want to get Thundershocked even though I know it won't kill me. Um... What was our status move on Hibiki again? Poison powder. Not the best one. I guess we should just go for a quick attack and hope it doesn't kill it. Oh! 
Oh, nicely done. I was afraid there for a second. I was like, no, no, no. Okay, we are too overleveled, but nope. Nope, we are just perfect. And, ooh, fastball. Is that based on speed? Makes it easier to catch fast Pokemon. Let's catch you in a fastball, how about? Um, what was our rule about that? Oh, wait. What was our rule about that? What level of song difficulty do I have to play for that? I think it's an... I think it's a hard song. <laughs> yeah, any ball that's non-standard is automatically a hard song. I don't know, that could be fun, though. You haven't seen me play a hard song on this game yet. Alright, let's do it. Let's hope it catches. And it's a unique ball to be able to throw out on the field anyway. Success! Alright, Pikachu was caught! Oh man, caught the series mascot and everything. I kind of feel like... Oh, that- I think- I kind of feel like that's special enough that I should use a Muse member name for her. And I hope we can keep her in that case. Um, although if we are playing a hard song, that would mean we're less likely to full combo, less likely to keep, l more likely to waste a Muse member's name. Um... Well, we could always just use the same name again later if we don't keep her. Uh, sure. Let me just see what Muse member would fit best. Who- Who's got an electric personality? Okay, I have it between Honoka and Nico. Honoka I have noted down as the person that I would use for an electric name on my list. But man, Nico is also, like, she's small and compact like a Pikachu. Um, she's got the, like, twin tails, twin ears. Uh, she's definitely got what I would call an electric personality. I was hoping I would save Nico for a dark type, but man, you know what? I think I want to go with it. I think Nico suits this Pikachu better than Honoka does. Honoka, let's say for a Pokemon that's a little sweeter. Uh, Pikachu certainly can pack a pack a punch sometimes. Not that sweet Pokemon can't do that as well, but still, I I still feel like Nico is a better option. We're going to call you. I almost want to call you Nico too, <laughs> but I I think we'll just go with Nico. Uh, so, so we've transferred her to the green room, and she will be the start of a new unit, too. That'll be an interesting to finally start building a new unit again, hopefully one that we can keep. Uh, let's go back to the center and check out her stats to see what we're playing for. Okay, Nico is a hardy nature, so that's neutral. Got static, of course. A uh, pretty standard looking Pikachu looks like. Decent attack, decent special attack, really good speed. Okay, okay, pretty standard, solid, I like it. If we can get a light ball at some point, that would be great. Um, let's, uh, let's go into School Idol Festival, let's play for her. Okay, here we are, we're in another score match. I feel like we're in a score match every other episode, but that's just because episodes don't come out super frequently and there's two events a month, so that's why, I guess. <laughs> so let's just head in here, let's go for our... Our hard match. I don't really mind so much using my normal team during a score match, because this particular uh, score match I'm not super competitive about, so it's all good. I don't mind. I don't mind getting lower numbers of points. Um, and Wonder Zone. That's an interesting choice for a song. Oh, wait. Wonder Zone has like some ladders and stuff. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Gonna warn you up front, I'm not gonna talk very much during this one, I think. Okay, it's not doing too bad so far. I'm not, I don't want to jinx, jinx myself, though. Don't get too cocky. Great kid, don't get too cocky! Ah! Okay! Oh, wow! I didn't think I'd survive that part. That's the part I was worried about. But I have played Wonder Zone a lot, so maybe it's in my muscle memory, who knows. I think it is in my muscle memory, because this feels a lot more natural than it does for some of the normal songs. Oh, never mind, never mind, there was a good right there. Damn it. Well, I did get a pretty decently high combo at least, so that's good. But even with the, the good there, this does still feel a little bit more natural than some of the normal songs do, because I don't play normal as often as I play hard. So maybe that'll counterbalance the lag a little bit in future songs going forward. Good to know.
<laughs> I just noticed somebody somebody's name on the score match is Sold Mum for LG. That's wonderful. I think I might have even played against them in a match before. That looks familiar. <laughs> that was indeed fun. Uh Congrats! <laughs> I was clearly not playing seriously against you guys, so you guys deserve to get higher places more than I do. Alrighty, what did we get for combo? We got two goods. We're oh good, we did get the A combo. But uh let's see, okay. What are we gonna what are we gonna do for the uh for the yeah. What am I even saying? <laughs> we gotta get the uh the RNG to work in our favor in order to make this work still, so let's do that. Okay, here we are, we're back. And we are going to play the random number generator game in which we play for the fate of our our little Nico Chu here. Um again, one through three, we get to keep her. Four, we lose her. That's because we got an A combo. That's a 75% catch rate. Let us see what the judges say. Oh, no. Ugh. I ugh, fine. I guess I guess the judges thought like maybe she's talented, but she's difficult to work with. I could see that for a Nico. <sighs> So much hope. So much getting hopes up. Alright. Well, fine then. Well, fine then. It happens sometimes. That's the point of, a, of doing the Nuzlocke like this. Uh, <laughs> there we go. That's the point of doing a Nuzlocke like this, is that things don't always go your way. You don't always get the things you want. Um, so you can be a, a wannabe with Jasper here. Keep her company. You, you're both very tempestuous, difficult characters to work with. Maybe that's what the judges don't like in Pokemon. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I think in that case... Uh, well, I don't really want to leave it there. Let's, at the very least, get the... Uh, the well, like, the Farfetch thing won't take that long, and it's not really a great thing to finish the episode out on. Uh, what can we finish it out on? I guess... I guess we could just finish it here, because I don't want to go too long this week. Um, so I guess, yeah, maybe let's finish it out with the Farfetch, so I'll just do- I'll finish out with, like, a- a quick little music montage to fade out on, and then I'll show you guys this week's fan art. Uh, sound good? Sounds good. Alrighty. We'll lament the loss of our catch today, and we will try again tomorrow on our way to Goldenrod City. Well, tomorrow. Next week. Whenever you watch this episode. <laughs> Bye!